Hey, how's it going YouTube? Uh, today I want to make a quick uh, tip video for any of you guys who may be using Hyper-V. Uh, I did a video already before on how to enable Hyper-V on Windows 8 or Windows 8.1. Um, but in this video, this is kind of like a follow-up tip video on using Hyper-V for Windows 8. Basically what happens is uh, once you install Hyper-V, um, you can make your own internal network and uh, what happened on my computer was I installed uh, I made my internal network and then after that my actual uh, when I'm running whenever I'm running the virtual machines my host computer internet went really slow so right now I'm, I'm just gonna show you guys how slow it is so let's say if I want to go to Bing.com normally it would just take a second uh, to go but like as you can see it's loading and loading and loading it's just taking a long time which is not normal at all um, so I found I found the cause the main problem for this uh, I did a bit of research on Google and then this is the solution I'm gonna show you guys right now what the solution is to make uh, to fix this problem basically go to your control panel I have control panel over here but you can also right click at the bottom left of your windows 8 go to control panel so here I have my com control panel window in my control in the control panel window go to um, the network and sharing center here network and sharing center click here and then once you're here then go to change adapter settings all right and then this is the window the adapter settings window once you're here on your keyboard press the alt button ALT press the alt button and then you'll see that this menu comes up and then here you want to click advanced then go to advanced settings and this is actually the root problem of why it's slowing down your connection uh, right now the way it's set is uh, the computer is set in, in the order of priority it set the virtual network the internal lab network that I had made from Hyper-V it set that above my actual internet so what you want to do is just uh, on the virtual Ethernet select that one or like your Hyper-V Ethernet and then just select down so that now you have your actual uh, actual computer internet um, adapter which is my local Ethernet uh, you have that on top so that gets first priority all your in local internet browsing everything comes on top so select that then you hit OK and it's just going to take a second and then it'll apply that change so now all the now your entire you'll be able to run your Hyper-V virtual machines fine everything's going to be running with no problems and at the same time your internal browsing will also be fast so let's just go to yahoo.com we'll see how and you, as you can see it just loaded in a second so um, yeah every your internal network and your external network it'll all be working fine with no speed problems at all so um, yeah thank you guys for watching uh, this was just a quick Tip video. I hope it helped you guys out. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And share this video with others as well to help them out. Take care, guys.